how to add Klarna to your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can set up your checkout system and add Klarna as a payment option. So let's get into it. Now, whenever you are building your Shopify store, you have to build the checkout system separately. And there are certain checkout systems that enable you to add Klarna, while other ones do not have the ability to add Klarna. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the checkout system that you are already using, if you have already built your checkout, then the one that you're using should have Klarna as an option. If they don't have that as an option, you won't be able to add Klarna. But we are just going to get started from scratch. So we are just going to click on settings, go on to our apps and sales channels, click on our Shopify app store. You can just search on the top. We're just going to search for ping pong and I can't find it over here. So I'm actually going to do the shorter method. I'm just going to go into my Shopify settings. Usually I can find the ping pong checkout, but you can just go into Shopify, click on your bottom left and your settings, click on your checkouts and accounts. And then you can see you have your checkout system. You have to, you know, set all this up. After that, you have your payments. Now in your payments, what you want to do is you want to click on add payment method. And we are just going to search for Klarna and you're just going to select that. Now, let's say this is the only one that I care for. Now, there are two providers currently in my location that are available for Klarna. So I have ping pong checkout and checkout.com. I'm going to continue on with ping pong because it has 29 more options while checkout.com only has 13 more. Obviously, it depends on your preference of payment methods. There might be certain payment methods that checkout might have and ping pong might not. That might be more important to me, but I'm just going to click on activate, click on connect over here. And this will just open up the ping pong application in the new tab. It says ping pong checkout. I'm going to click on install application on the top right over here. And once you do that, you're just going to be led to the ping pong page. You can auto translate this into English to set it up. So to set up ping pong checkout, you just have to uh, create your account. If you don't have an account already, you can click on the bottom right over here to register now. And you're just going to get a verification code and complete the ping pong setup process. And then you will have Klarna added as a payment method onto your checkout. Now, other than that, if we go into other payment methods, so if you have uh, manual payment methods, you will only have cash on delivery, bank deposits, or create a custom method. You can do that and you can set it up like so but setting it up like this is a lot more helpful. And I'm just gonna click on over here just to show you guys once more the different options for different providers because different providers are gonna give you different sign up options, different fees as well. So if I go on to checkout.com, I can also add that, click on connect. So even with checkout.com, you have a similar application. You're just going to click on install now on the top right. And once you have done that, it takes a couple of seconds to load up. But once that has been completed, now you can see finish setting up checkout.com offsite payments. Now I'm going to click on manage. Now once you click on manage over here, we can just pin this application, but uh, you're just going to enter your account type for all of these, your API credentials, your payment methods. So let's say I want to enable Klarna and I have a NES account and I want to disable the 3DS mode. So after that, I have to enter my sandbox API key and product secret API key. Obviously, you're going to add your APIs to get started. Now, you also have your setup instructions if you're facing difficulties with your, you know, your basic checkouts. You have your basic webhooks activating the payment setups for ABC accounts or NES. So if you're not certain what kind of Shopify payment app you're wanting to use, you can take a look at this article over here to make sure that it works properly for you. I am just setting it up as I know it because uh, I had previously done this, you know, I had done this previously. So I'm just going to go on ahead. You also have your webhooks over here, your production webhook, your sandbox webhook. You can click on register over here like so. Currently I'm facing some errors, but I can just, you know, uh, get those webhooks and complete my 
registration as well. Now you can see you have multiple different options, Klarna, Europay, Knet, Ideal, Salesforce, and other cards as well. For Shopify, it's very easy. And once you enable Klarna, all you have to do is link your Klarna account, which you want the payments to be deposited in. Now, this is a very simple way you can integrate it in the form of a application. Once you do that, you can go into your online store. And what I recommend is that if you, you know, accept these kinds of payment, make sure to add it in the bottom over here. So in your payment methods uh, at the bottom, if you're using a pre-made template, it might not be added. So you want to make sure to enable that as well. Add the Klarna uh, little icon as well. Make sure you add it into multiple different call to action buttons as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Now, other than this, I do have a couple of more tips that can help you guys with setting uh, up your Shopify store. And there are a couple of more tools that I recommend that can help you in setting up or uh, expanding your Shopify store. So I re definitely do recommend that you use platforms like JudgeMe to import reviews, especially if you're doing dropshipping, you want to make sure you have reviews on your website. It doesn't just look like some empty hollow website. So definitely do import reviews from AliExpress or whatever your supplier is you have the judge me integration for that you also have apps like translate and adapt that can help you in you know creating localized content for different locations and sticky card apps that can help create multiple different call to action buttons with your shopify store now make sure with shipping and delivery uh you also take a look at your processing times because sometimes if a order is not confirmed let's say you haven't received your payment in klana yet and the person wants to cancel or you receive the payment and then they want to cancel so you want to make sure you set up one form of product confirmation before you enable Klarna payments because refunding payments can be more of a hassle than you know getting them so it's best that you have a single you know email verification and after the email is verified you can go on ahead and go through with the purchase amount so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with building your own Shopify store, starting to accept orders and have a good checkout system ready and in place. And not only this, but I do recommend you also add uh, installment based payment options into your Shopify store because these are becoming super popular and it's now become a norm. So definitely do check those payment methods out as well, which are available for your local area. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.